the four corners of the circular globe to bring miracles and wonders to you lucky, happy people who have deigned to stop here at my little my little stage way early in the morning. First of all, from Prof Cafe. Cafe, that's where we keep China during the Renaissance. Three solid steel rings. How many people here have heard of the mystery of the Chinese linking rings? By applause, bang your hands together, please. Oh, you have. All right. We won't do that trick, then we'll do something else. fitting tune for day two here at the Ingleside Renaissance Festival. But for those of you that are disappointed and expecting some live bagpipes, since we're all friends here, I think we know everyone in the audience. So for, for those of you that made it out this early, we owe you some live music. And I don't know, do we need to retune? That was, that was rather fun though. Good job, Johnny. So thank you for sharing that illusion with us, something that we, we don't normally get to perform. So indulgent as this morning may be, lads and lasses, Here's some live music brought to you by Tartanic. Yes, we're the, oh, we're the Columbus Ship Association. This is the president, Kim Morasic. And this is Claudia Otolar. And we're here to raise funds and uh, to help the restoration of the ship, the La Nina. We have uh, authentic nails. Take over. Lots of uh, blocks, wood, because this ship was made from the same forest that Columbus cut the wood for, for the Santa Maria Pinta and Nina replicas that were built in Spain in the late uh, 1980s. They were all built in different shipyards and then they sailed from Spain in 1992 and Corpus Christi was lucky enough to get them, all three of them, and unfortunately didn't do a really good job of maintaining them. So we lost the Santa Maria and the Pinta in August. They had to be demolished and the only one remaining is La Nina and we are trying to restore her and get her back sailing again because Claudio and I sailed on her for many yeah. years. It's awesome. And a lot of us went through the sailing school and we have our certificates in 15th century sailing, which we are really proud of and not many people can claim that. So we're hoping to open the sailing school again and get sails for the ship now. So we're uh, selling pieces from her sisters to, uh, for donation, of course, because we are a 5013C nonprofit organization. So all your donations are tax deductible and we're hoping really to uh, get a set of sales which is going to be about $25,000 and go from there and go out sailing again. <laughs> Nothing? Got the audience trained though, that's a start. Excuse us. That's okay, actually. Uh, it's a new location, so she hasn't been chiming in right away every time, but I have a backup plan now. Pay no attention to the device I have in my hand. Uh, let's see here. It's a Renaissance it's a, that You're right. It's a Renaissance. Ye old cell phone. Ye old cell phone. That's right. All you have to do is uh, put a ye old in front of it. It makes it Renaissance, right? 
can add a TH to the end of anything, and it makes it Renaissance too. So if she doesn't, uh, if she doesn't make sound, you can tell me that this bird's sucking. <laughs> All right, so let's try this. I have recorded her just the other day carrying on in her chamber. So let's see if this works. Ready, Sheila? That's you. You remember saying that? Almost. Try to rewind that. Try that again. Ready, girl? So will I. <laughs> we'll give this a try. Now let me put him up here on the back perch. He has a little bit more height. All right, now keep your eye on the birdie because this is going to go quick. All right, wait for it, Tang. No, no, wait. He knows what's about to happen. Oh, well done, Tango. Very well done. <laughs> That was a horrible throw on my part, but that was an awesome way to correct. It's birds like that that make me look good. 